Yeah, I mean, I was, I was excited, but I wanted to celebrate. But at the same time, I knew um, they had so much time in the game. Um, so, I mean, it's definitely good doing it in front of the fans here um, and my family. So that was, that was good. It looked like they, Coach said he thought they doubled Chris and, and Mike get to open like that. Yeah, I think um, as I'm running, I kind of see the guy sitting low. And I think it was probably a blown coverage. Um, and it was focused on the outbreaking route that was possibly coming. Um, and I came wide open. And usually it's a, like kind of a runoff route. And I look up, and I was like, is that the ball? And it was coming down, caught it, and touchdown. What's, what's the name of your hometown, pronounce it? Um, Metairie, Metairie, Kenner, New Orleans, this whole area. I'm in a metro area. I lived everywhere. How far is it from here? Oh, probably five to 10 miles between there. Yeah, right down the street. You've been a long time, had one catch for three years. It's got to be cool to have this now. It's yeah, like yeah. Um, just taking advantage of opportunities as they come. Hey, Sarah, you got called up yesterday from the practice squad and today make the big play. Hey, Mobile. Sarah just called my dad for that question. <laughs> um, anyways, um, just talk about, you know, what it means just to, to stay ready and, you know, you were obviously ready for your moment. Yeah. Um, Byron and B.A. and Kevin always talk about, um, you know, everybody's going to put their hand in the pile at some point. And um, this was my week um, where I was able to put my hand in the pile and contribute to the team. And that's what it's all about, just preparing and staying ready for those opportunities because um, you only get a couple. You're the speed guy. You're the track guy. Do you think that uh, gave you some separation there just to get downfield? They blew a coverage. Yeah, they blew a coverage.